Hello, so this is going to be a multi-video series, um, but this particular video is going to answer the question and provide a solution about how the Miele vacuum com bag compartments can fill with dust. I took this to a Miele dealer to just to have it service to give it a tune-up because I had had it for a few years and I use it every single day. And I got it back and I used it a few times and the bag compartment was full of dust and dirt outside of the bag. The bag had not torn. The problem was he did not put the bag in correctly. Um, some people that buy these brand new, they use them a few days later, same problem. I wanna show you how to avoid that. I wanna show you why it happens. Um, so here is the bag compartment. It's a sealed unit. There's this gasket around here. There's a gasket around the bag itself so dust can't leak out of it if it's aligned correctly. So there's a few pieces of this bag system, of this compartment that I wanna show you. Here's the bag itself, okay? It has this collar, it's a very thick plastic. It has this thick rubber gasket around it that seals around the orifice, and I'm gonna show you what that is. So this is the orifice that goes into this bag. It, once you shut the lid, it forces that orifice down inside the bag, which is what opens it. That's how the dirt gets into the bag. But the seal seals around the orifice, which prevents the dust from coming back out of it. Now I want to show you the bag dock. The bag dock is what this is. This is never supposed to come out. Some people, when they replace the bag, they uh, rip this out and when they put the bag back on this orifice thing, when they turn it on, it sucks it off the orifice and all the dirt fills the bag compartment. Another reason of why that can happen um, is so here's the dock all right it takes some pressure you can put it in halfway and it takes some pressure to actually click it in place to where it's seated properly see now it's seated properly and these areas line up if you close the bag compartment sometimes when you open it it will pull the bag out for you halfway so you don't have to exert too much effort to pull it out if you open this bag compartment and you don't replace the bag or you don't push this back down into the dock, you might be able to force this to close and then guess what happens the next time you use it, since this orifice is not lined up with this um, uh, port, dust gets filled and, you know, it fills the bag compartment with dust. So it's very simple. Anytime you open this bag compartment, even if you don't take the bag out, maybe you do take the bag out. If you're just checking it, maybe you just want to open it to replace the exhaust filter or to replace the pre-motor filter or any reason you open this, always push this back down into the dock, even if it looks like it's all the way in. You have to make sure you hear that audible snap. If you aren't sure, pull it completely out and push it back down inside until you hear that snap. Just like that. A lot of times I'll open this back compartment just to check the bag and it'll pull it out of its dock. If you miss that and you shut this, you're gonna have the same problem I had where the back compartment fills with dirt and dust. See, it pulled it out. Some people have bought new Mila's right out of the box and they have that same problem happen. That means that someone opened this to make sure that it had a bag in it and forgot to push this back down inside of it and forced it closed. Maybe when they did that, the bag itself bent. I don't know. Anyway, so you just have to make sure that these components are, you know, seated correctly. And if you do manage to close it, and this isn't lined up correctly, you're gonna have to replace the bag, potentially the dock, because it could bend this, and then it won't make a complete seal to the orifice, and then dust can leak out. Otherwise, if you seat this correctly, it is a really good design because this dock holds that bag up to the orifice so it can't come off. And then it has this rubber seal that dust can't leak out of. You just have to be cognizant. Take your time with this and just make sure that this is seated correctly. It's a very simple step. You've got to make sure that this is put in all the way. You've got to make sure that you hear that snap. You've got to make sure that the areas line up. You've got to make sure it's not bent. And you've got to make sure it's a genuine Mila bag. Generic Mila bag. They don't filter as well, so they will let ultra-fine particles pass through the, the, fil the bag media, and then that will fill the bag compartment over time. Sometimes they're just made so cheaply that you suck something up that's sharp, and it busts those generic bags. Genuine Mila bags are so thick. They're like that thick. 
they are very hard to bust. Um, sometimes the generic bags have poor seals around, you know, the intake of the bag. So I, I just, I highly advise buying genuine Mila bags from your local Mila dealer. If you don't have one, you can buy them online. You can buy them from the Mila website. Um, there's a lot of places to buy the genuine Mila bags. Another thing is that you, if you spend the money on a Mila, these don't come cheap. If you spend the money on a high quality vacuum like this, part of what you're paying for is the excellent superior filtration this has over 99% of the uh, all other machines on the market globally. I'm not gonna say I guarantee you this is the best filtering machine that that's out there, but it definitely filters, you know, I would say it's within the top three. I don't think that a machine can filter better than this. It can just filter as good, and it's very hard to find something that will filter as good as a Mila C3 will um, with genuine Mila filters. and in bags. Um, I might even make a review video on just why I prefer the Mila C3, why I recommend it, why I'm so passionate about it compared to all the other vacuums on the market. I've had Sebas, I've had Sebo Upright, Sebo Canisters, Ricars, Dyson, Sharks, Hoovers, Kenmores, um, Rainbows, Kirby's. Um, some of, a lot of those I still have. Uh, a lot of them I don't have anymore. And it's because I just keep going back to the Mila C3. It is a phenomenal machine, absolutely phenomenal in so many aspects. Short answer, yes, I would choose this 10 times over, over a SIBO Felix or a SIBO Canister. Um, definitely, I think it's the best canister on the market from a design you know, standpoint to what it offers you. Um, anyway, so my next videos are gonna go over the differences between the power nozzles, differences between filtration, differences between Mila models, what can break on a Mila, those kinds of things. So please go to my next video and I will meet you there. If you have any questions about what we discussed today in this video, please comment below and I will do my best to get to those as soon as possible.